AJ and Hannah grew up in the same town, in the same neighborhood, but they officially met when she was 15 and he was 16. It was the fall of 2012, and their homecoming dance was in their small town's high school gymnasium. Hannah went to the dance with some friends and AJ's younger sister, and AJ went with a date. He and his date ended up getting into an argument while at the dance, so he went over to talk to his sister and tell her he was leaving. Despite being an extremely shy person, Hannah got a random burst of confidence and blurted out, I can be your date for the rest of the night. AJ accepted her offer, and they awkwardly danced and talked the rest of the night. His sister texted Hannah a few days after the dance and gave her his phone number, and they didn't stop talking until he went to basic training for the US Army. About two years into their relationship, AJ enlisted in the US Army. This was something he had wanted to do since he was a young boy. Hannah knew before they even started dating that this was part of his plan. Though Hannah was very nervous and scared for him to leave, she fully supported him and knew it would make their relationship stronger. Just before he left, on March 10th of 2015, he took Hannah to a place where they spent a lot of time. He got down on his knee and asked her to marry him. Though still a senior in high school, she of course said yes. Because she was still in school, her family told her that she needed to fully think it through, but they knew it was coming. The couple was inseparable. There was no way they wouldn't get married. He shipped out for basic training on March 16th, and he was gone for a total of six months for training. Watching him leave was one of the most difficult times for Hannah. He got on the bus and headed off, and she bawled her eyes out as she watched the bus drive off. She missed school the next couple of days because she was so upset about watching him leave, knowing she wouldn't have any contact with him. Those couple of months were some of the hardest in her life. For the first couple of months, they could only communicate through written letters. Every single day when Hannah got home from school, she checked her mailbox, hoping for a letter. Every time she would get a letter, she'd be overfilled with joy, read the letter right in her car, and cry with tears of joy. Once he was done with basic training, there was a graduation ceremony at his base. His mom, dad, sister, and Hannah loaded up the car and drove 17 hours to Fort Sill, Oklahoma, to see him for the first time in about three months. Finally seeing him again for the first time was a feeling Hannah could not put into words. She felt like a piece of her had been put back together, and she was whole again. They spent what little time they had together talking about their wedding cuddling, and just soaking up every second they had together, as they knew it would inevitably come to an end. The day of his graduation was the same as Hannah's high school graduation. She chose to skip walking across the stage at her own high school graduation to go visit her future husband. That is a decision she will never regret. The moment of reuniting with the love of her life was worth all the time apart, including missing her graduation. Only two days after being reunited, they had to say goodbye once more. AJ had to finish the rest of his training to become a medic. It was fine, though, because the next time they saw each other, they were getting married. Three more months passed, and Hannah found herself waiting at the airport for her husband-to-be. She was so incredibly anxious to finally be in the arms of the love of her life again. When she first saw him, she almost didn't recognize him. He was so skinny and had different hair than the last time she had seen him. Tears instantly rushed down her face, and she ran over to him and hugged him like she never wanted to let him go. On September 21st, 2015, Hannah got married to her very best friend. They were young, they didn't have much money or help, and they paid for their wedding completely on their own. Though it was a small wedding with just their immediate family and closest friends, it was the most beautiful, special day ever. After the ceremony, they went to a beautiful restaurant on the water, laughed, and spent time with their families as a whole, knowing it was going to be one of the last times they could do that for a while. AJ had to report to his duty station and their new home, which was ironically the same place he did his basic training, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Two weeks later, she followed him in her PT cruiser. The move was very difficult for Hannah, she had an extremely hard time adjusting to being over a thousand miles away from her family and friends. The move sent her into a spiral mentally, and at the same time, her health started declining. After a couple of months of struggling, she was diagnosed with severe anxiety, depression, OCD, and anorexia. 
She was in an extremely bad place mentally, but AJ was always there for her. He has always been the only constant in her life. Through every panic attack, he held her. When she was getting too skinny, he made sure the house was stocked with foods that she liked, even though he knew she wouldn't eat them. He would spend countless hours talking to her, trying to help her not feel as sad. Even if he didn't say anything at all, he just listened to her cry. He was there. I was struggling so badly mentally that my doctor wanted to admit me to a mental health facility. But at one of my routine lab draws, they found out I was pregnant, said Hannah. She was absolutely terrified. She was in no place to have a baby and could hardly take care of herself, let alone care for a baby. After weeks of contemplation, they ultimately decided the best option was to get an abortion. They drove three hours away to an abortion clinic in Tulsa, Oklahoma. When they arrived, there were pro-life protesters yelling things at them. AJ held her hand and walked her into the clinic. They were there for three hours, filling out paperwork and going through all of the protocols of the clinic. Then it came time to pay. I just froze, Hannah recalled. I couldn't hand the woman my debit card to pay for the service. She left the room and gave the couple a few minutes to talk. And as soon as she left the room, they didn't say anything. They just looked at each other and knew they needed to leave. They were scared, but they knew it was the right choice. Once they were in the car, they talked about how they both felt very bad at the clinic. Something wasn't sitting right with either of them. As they drove off, it felt like a weight had been lifted off their shoulders. In the following weeks, things started looking up. Hannah had slowly overcome most of the mental struggles she was facing. She never ended up on medication or in therapy thanks to the baby. I did it all on my own for her. Knowing that I needed to be strong for this baby saved my life. Even through all of that, AJ was there. He held her through any panic attack. He held her hand while at the clinic. He held her hand during childbirth. He has always been her biggest supporter. During the pregnancy, Hannah had her share of ups and downs. But the further along she got, the more excited she got. Once she felt the baby kick for the first time, she almost instantly lost any anxiety she had about having the baby. Of course, she was nervous about giving birth and becoming a mother, but she never regretted continuing her pregnancy. Here they are today. They now have a two-year-old daughter and a three-month-old son. But with her pregnancies came illness. About a year after having her daughter, she was diagnosed with lupus. About a week after receiving her diagnosis, she found out she was pregnant with her son. Pregnancy was rough on her body, but AJ helped her so much. From getting up with their daughter and cleaning the house to holding her while she cried in pain, he was there for Hannah. After giving birth to my son, I received a diagnosis of hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Though I had just received this diagnosis, I'd been dealing with it my whole life. Pregnancy has made the symptoms worse and more frequent, as well as sent my lupus into a several week long flare. Every day is a struggle for Hannah. She often feels like she's failing as a mother because she's too sick to do a lot of things. Some days, she'll be so exhausted she can't get out of bed, and her husband will have to make her daughter's breakfast, lunch, and dinner that day. Or some days, her daughter will want to play with her, and she's unable to run around with her because she's in so much pain. Some days, I fear my health will get too bad, and I may never feel okay, said Hannah. Every day for me is filled with pain, and I'm terrified that one day it will become unbearable. AJ always assures me everything is going to be okay, and he does everything in his power to make sure I'm comfortable and know that I'm loved. AJ and Hannah have been together for nearly eight years at this point. When they first met, they were young. She was healthy and everything was great. It wasn't until shortly after they got married that her health started declining. They've now gone through several moves. AJ going into the military, him getting out of the military, having several children, and even still, the sicker she got, the more he was there for her. I've never had anything as consistent as his love for me in my entire life, confesses Hannah. Through all of the health problems she has endured, he has always been there for her, and she knows he always will be. I try my best to be there for him. I support his dreams and goals, but no matter what I do, I can never repay him for being such an amazing man to me. In sickness and in health, we are forever.